In this topic, we are going to discuss the broad cultural context of human resource management. Uh, the broad cultural context, it includes a number of factors and a number of dynamics from various different levels of the environment that affect the human resource management practices of a country. And uh, a number of things are uh, surrounding in the environment of an organization that affect the uh, human resource management practices. So we are going to take a, uh, take a look at how the cultural aspects, they affect human resource management practices. Okay, so you can see in the diagram that uh, there are overarching variables, factors that are determining the national human resource management policies. You can see that in the first line, there are sociocultural institutions. What are sociocultural institutions? We will discuss in the next slide. Then there are national political uh, and economic institutions and policies. Aapke jo national uh, aapke institutions hain, national policies hain, for example, Eklo equal employment opportunity ki policy ho sakti hai. Uske ilawa, um, aapki um, international human resource management ke hawale se, agar joint ventures ho rahe hain, usme aapki national policies ho sakti hain, ki aapne apni local market se, kitne logon ko, kitne percent logon ko representation deni hai. Uske ilawa, aapki financial policies ho sakti hain, jisme jo multinationals hain, Unke liye requirements ho sakti hain ki unho ne kitna paid up capital jo hai wo rakhna hai ya unho ne regarding human resources jo bahir se log aare hain unki visa ki kya requirements hain unki security ke kya jo hain wo intazamat ho sakti hain so there are so many various different national political economic institutions and policies that will then affect your national uh, human resource policies then uh, again, uh, these national political economic institutions, they affect the supranational political economic institutions and policies. The supranational uh, institutions are the one, uh, for example, supranational institution is the United Nations. Supranational political um, uh, uh, economic institution is the OECD. It is the European Union. So there are a number of supranational institutions uh, which are affected by the um, uh, by the policies of the inst uh, of, of the national institutions um, of its member countries. All right. So uh, the national. Uh, system will affect the supranational system and the supranational system will again it will affect the national human resource management policies on the socio cultural institution side the socio cultural institutions will affect uh, the cultural values and attitudes aapke jo uh, institutions hain jo aapke um, national idare hain wo aapki cultural values ko determine karte hain और उसकी बेसिस पे आपकी जो एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर है वो डेवलप होता है और उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर की बेसिस पे आपकी एक नेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसीज एक जनरल नेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसीज जो हैं वो इवॉल्व करती हैं and uh, when you arrive at the national human resource management policies that leads to national human resources management ki aap ek ek country ke andar ek particular mulk mein uh, aapki ek general human resource management ki kya policy hai which then affects human resource management in organizations all right and then when you go on the cultural side you can see that the cultural values and attitudes they on one side they affect the national human resource management policies and on the other side they also affect the organizational culture as well as the leadership styles and the management competencies of people who are working in the organizations and then they affect the human resource management in organizations as well uh, so it is a uh, bi-directional and multi-factor 
model of uh, uh, the uh, of the cultural context of human resource management in organizations so basically aapka jo socio cultural institutions hain wo cultural values or attitudes ko generate karte hain aapke national institutions jo hain wo aapki jo overall national policies hain unko generate karte hain and that leads to an overall national human resource management कल्चर जो है वो आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर और लीडरशिप को भी अफेक्ट करता है और उस दैट ऑल ऑफ दैट दैट एंड्स अप हाउ यू मैनेज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दैट इज़ अ ब्रॉड कल्चरल कॉन्टेक्सट मॉडल ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ द सेम वेरिएबल्स वैन वी एलेबरेट ईच ऑफ द वेरिएबल्स uh that affect the national human resource management policies uh and and we try to elaborate how what are what are the elements of each of those variables so in the national culture we you can see that there is a socialization process there are the common values norms of behavior and custom and influence of pressure groups assumptions that shape managers perception match to the organizational culture so basically the national culture that is based on the various different uh, common values of the people that are living in that particular country then the institutions that we talked about the socio institution uh, socio cultural institutions those are for example the national labor laws what are the trade unions the educational and vocational training set up then another very important uh, institution is the labor market then the professional bodies uh, of international institutions uh, that also are always very active uh then the industry by itself it is an institution uh the employers federations yani jo organizations ki apni federations hoti hain uske ilawa consulting organizations so ye sab institutions jo hain ye aapke uh socio cultural environment mein exist karte hain aur aapki national human resource management policies ko uh jo hain wo influence karte hain uske baad what the, then there is the dynamic business environment that has a major effect on your uh, national hrm policies and what is in the dynamic business environment uh, what type of competition there is what are the different business alliances that we have previously discussed in the previous uh, topics merger and acquisitions and uh, joint ventures etc then the changing composition of workforce that is very much important aapki national uh, jo population hai usme youth zyada hai ya usme uh, middle aged log zyada hai ya usme uh, old jo jo aging population hai wo zyada hai for example china ka ek bahut bada issue hai ki unki aging population jo hai wo ab uh, jo hai wo dominate kar rahi hai because they have been controlling their population a lot so unki youth jo hai wo uh, the, uska size proportion jo hai wo kam hai aur ab उसके अंदर एजिंग पॉपुलेशन जो है वो ज़्यादा है तो उस दैट आल्सो इफेक्ट्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स पॉलिसीज यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट इन ए पर्टिकुलर एनवायरनमेंट देन देर कुड बी रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग फोकस ऑन कितना आपके नेशनल कल्चर के अंदर फोकस ऑन कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन कितना है देन फैसिलिटी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन चेंज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी and globalization of the business all these things are related to the dynamic business environment uh, then another factor which is affecting uh, the national uh, hrm policies is the industrial sector uh, and in within the industrial sector then there are a number of things which need to be considered for example what are the common strategies of that industrial strat uh, uh, industrial sector uh the business logic and goals what are the business logic and goals of that particular industrial industrial sector uh regulations and standards kya hain uh sector specific knowledge jo hai wo aapke paas kitni hai aapke paas human capital us uh, industry se related kitna hai for example agar aap it ki industry ki baat karte hain to aapke paas kitne log hain jo ke it mein skilled hain ya agar aap manufacturing ki baat karte hain to aapke paas kitne log hain jo ke production or management production management ko and operations management ko uh, manage kar sakte hain so sector specific knowledge jo hai wo exist karta hai yani information and formal ben benchmarking uh, informal and formal benchmarking uh, cross sector cooperation 
common developments in the business operations and labor or skill requirements, all of these things, they are part of your industrial sector and they define your national human resource policies and practices. Then there could be contingent variables which could be affecting, and those are age, size, nature, life cycle stage, level of technology, presence of unions and human resource strategies, then business sector, in which business sector the organization is operating, and different stakeholders' interests. All of these things, they, uh, they, they also affect your human resource management policies and practices. And then human resource policies and practices are further elaborated. You very well know that they are related to recruitment and selection, training and development, career development, performance appraisals, pay and benefits, transfers, communication, retirement, separation, all these things are part of your HRM policies and practices. And finally, uh, your national human resource policies and practices, they affect the organizational strategies and policies, uh, which are also a part of your, um, uh, which are determined by the national HRM policies and practices. So the organization then develops those uh, policies which are uh, which are fit with the national context and the and and the cultural context so this was a basic um, model of of the broad cultural context of human resource management and indeed uh, each one of the variable involved in this uh, model of culture uh, can be defined uh, with a lot of elaboration but uh, in this topic we have tried to summarize uh, the basic uh, external factors that affect uh, the human resource management policies uh, from a cultural perspective.